Vancouver, Canadian environmental advocates say there's reason to worry about the implications for Canada of U.S. President Donald Trump's new ocean policy, which emphasizes economic growth. Trump issued an executive order Wednesday that sets a new U.S. policy direction for oceans and the Great Lakes. It replaces a 2010 order made by his predecessor, President Barack Obama, that focused more heavily on environmental protections. President Donald Trump issued a new ocean, Great Lakes policy direction that Canadian environmental groups say could be bad news for shared ecosystems, Jonathan Hayward, the Canadian press, Obama issued his 2010 policy directive in the wake of the catastrophic Deepwater Horizon oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. In his order he called the spill, a stark reminder of how vulnerable our marine environments are, and how much communities and the nation rely on healthy and resilient ocean and coastal ecosystems, while Trump's order does reference environmental benefits his policy directive focuses on issues of economic growth, including the promotion of ocean industries and the transportation of American goods, and security. Trump also said he would reduce the size of the related Ocean Policy Committee and cut the regional committees Obama established. Read more, G7 Ocean Plastic Charter, not enough, advocates their article continued below the new policy comes on the heels of the U.S. Refusal to sign on to the non-binding plastics charter during the G7 meetings earlier this month. The new policy direction will be destructive to the marine environment, said Christiane Wilhelmsen, the executive director of the BC-based Georgia Strait Alliance. If you treat the ocean as a resource for humans to pillage, you will see more pollution, you will see destruction of habitat, you will see destruction of species, she said. She added that it's a concern for coastal communities in Canada, who share ecosystems with the Americans, if more resource development is allowed, if protection is repealed then that will have an absolute impact on our ecosystems, on the southern resident killer whales and salmon because it's a shared water. It's incredibly disheartening, she said. In Ontario, Keith Brooks, the program's director with the Toronto-based organization Environmental Defense, called the policy direction a big step backwards. While it's still unclear what the practical implications of the policy directive will be, Brooks said it's setting the direction for other rulemaking bodies in the U.S. And observers believe that in broad strokes it will make it resource development easier and environmental protection more difficult. Article continued below that could have consequences for the Great Lakes, where pollution from the U.S. side is already causing problems, we have an algae problem in Lake Erie now that's mostly caused by agricultural runoff in the states but it impacts what's happening here in Canada too. Brooks said, what happens in the lakes? happens in the lakes whether it happens in the United States side or in the Canadian side, it's going to affect all of us and the same thing goes for the oceans too, he said. With a file from the Associated Press Ainsley, Crookshank is a Vancouver-based reporter covering the environment. Follow her on Twitter, at Ains Crookshank.